there's a lot of things that we can tell you that we can't do anything about. For example, <clears throat> we can tell you you have a susceptibility for breast cancer, but can't tell you if you're going to get it. Um, we could tell you perchance that you have um, a genetic predisposition for Huntington's disease and can't really do much about that either. Would you want to know if you had a genetic disorder that's incurable? Or would you rather not know? On the 23andMe website, to find out certain information, you have to opt in. You have to do like a double opt in. And they kind of go, <clears throat> are you sure you want to know? Um, where do you guys fall in those categories? Um, and uh, Jenny, I'll start with you. I mean, you sort of mentioned the hesitance previously. I mean, if, do you want to know if you have an incurable disease or disorder? There's a lot of cancer in my family. And um, because of that, I, I assume that there's a greater chance of me having cancer. And I guess I, guess I would want to know if it were a lethal situation. I would want to know not only to advocate and, and, and prepare, but to also prepare for um, death and my children and, and everything that comes with that. I think that if I could take an action, I'd want to know. But I wouldn't want to know that when I left the house today that I was, a car was going to cross the median line and hit me head on. Maybe I wouldn't leave the house. Maybe that's something I could take an action on. <laughs> uh, it's one of those uh, sort of paradoxes. Right. For my genetic situation, I can do something about it. So I do, I was happy to know. And in your case, what, what did you do? Well, for me, finding out that I had the BRCA2 mutation, uh, I immediately contacted a breast oncologist who referred me to a genetic counselor. Um, I, the test was from 23andMe and they verified the test with another lab just to be sure and it was confirmed and the recommendation was to have an oophorectomy. And that's when they remove your ovaries, right? That's when they remove your ovaries and uh, there's uh, not that great a risk for ovarian cancer, but it's significant. And I did that, and the other recommendation is to uh, see the breast oncologist twice a year for a breast exam and to also have a breast MRI and a mammogram once a year. And so I'm taking that action, and I'm hoping that at my age of 70, that um, I can beat it.